Hi everyone, welcome back to another video if you're coming back. My name is Shannon, I'm a full-time online reseller. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Depop. And you can find me at the username Shanny Sells, and everything is linked in the description box. If you're new here, thank you so much for checking out my channel, I really appreciate it. Um, if you have a chance, please like, comment, and subscribe. I put out weekly videos, I'm trying to do twice a week. Um, I do vlogs, I'm doing Vlogmas in December, I'm doing all kinds of videos, and that is my dog Renfield in the background, you'll hear him a lot. But without further ado, um, today I'm doing a What Sold video for the week of October 28th to November 1st, and this is what sold on all of the sites I sell on, Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Depop. So I want to get into it with you guys, and I'm going to scoot over a little bit so you can see the images of the items that I sold on the screen because I've already shipped them. So for the week of October 28th to um, November 3rd, I had a net profit of $459.14 um, and that is for the total profit for that week, for just that one week, for all platforms together. So in case you don't know, the net profit is what you take home, what you actually deposit into your bank account after fees and after how much I spent. Um, so that is your net and your gross is what the sale amount was, for example, on Poshmark before they take out their 20% fee. So for Poshmark, for, the, for this week that we're talking about, I had a net profit of $292.25 and a gross profit of 384. For eBay, I only have the gross profit for you guys because they do their, um, their payments differently and it comes out in your bill later on. So for this week on eBay, I made 229.20 and that is before the eBay and PayPal fees, which the way I do it, I just take, um, I minus that at the end of the month in my bill. Uh, for Mercari this week, I made $19.95, and for Depop, I made $21.84, and both of those numbers are Mercari and Depop's net income, um, so that is after their fees and their shipping is already taken out and accounted for. So, okay, so without further ado, so on Poshmark last week, okay, on uh, Poshmark last week, I made 17 sales. On eBay, I had a total of seven sales. In Mercari and Depop, I had one sale each on, separately on those platforms. So that's a total of 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 sales total on all the platforms and a net profit of 459.14. So um, let's get into what sold on Posh. So, on our first day here, October 28th, I sold a Greg Norman um, pullover. It was a men's pullover, it's a golf brand. Um, I've had this for a long time. I'm not really sure if I would pick up this brand again, but it did sell and I made a profit of $16 after fees. On October 29th, I sold this vintage Las Vegas sweater pullover and I made a net profit of 705. That was a really cool sweatshirt. It said Las Vegas and it had a picture of a fish on it. I really liked it and it was kind of a burnout style with the typing. On October 30th, I sold this Mara Hoffman tank top. This was a really cool tank top. Um, it did sit all summer long and I thought it was gonna sell for a lot more money because her stuff retails for a lot and it was just a really cool design. You'll see it on the screen, but the back of it had crisscross um, cutout. It was a crisscross cutout look and it was very cool. I made $12 on that sale. October 30th, I sold this Sheen dinosaur sequin shirt and it was a denim button down. I actually purchased this on Posh for myself and then I ended up never wearing it. It was just a little too, like, obviously when you buy a dinosaur, sh dinosaur shirt, you know it's going to be, like, have that kid look, but I don't know. It just didn't I don't know, I just felt weird wearing it, so I just never wore it. So I sold it, put it on Posh, it sold actually very quickly. 
Um, so I made $22.40 on that sale. And I only bought that on Posh for 15, so I actually made a bit of a profit on that. Um, October 30th, I sold this Carhartt vest. It was the men's vest, um, and I made $24 on that sale. I mentioned in my last Vlogtober, I think on the last day or the 30th, I mentioned how um, this vest also sold on eBay this same week, and I unfortunately had to cancel the buyer um, thought that it had a hooded, um, it was a hooded vest, but it wasn't, so they had to cancel right away, and if I had sold it on eBay in that sale, if it had gone through, I would have made, like, twice as much, but from now on, I'm picking up all Carhartt because it sells very quickly for me, so, um, I made $24 on that vest, and I only paid five for it, so I did profit, I did pretty well, pretty well on that, um, <clears throat> October 30th, I sold this bundle, which was cool. I sold a Nanette Lepore extra small faux leather dress. And it was a really cute dress, um, fit and flare kind of style. And she also bundled it with this New With Tags fall dish towel. And I made $32 on that sale. I was really happy to get a bundle. And I also was very happy to see this dress go. It was listed all summer long and I thought it was gonna do better. Um, I'm no longer picking up Nanette Lepore because I used to pick her up all the time. She retails for a lot of money, but that doesn't always mean that things will sell. So anyway, that was a cool sale. On Halloween, on October 31st, I only had one sale. I kind of took the day off. Um, I mean, I still shared my closet and did a few things. For the most part, I took the day off. So I sold these Karen Scott uh, faux leather... They were a white square toe um, booty, and they were also kind of like a kitten heel booty. I don't even know if that's a thing, but where the heel's like really skinny, and I made $12 on those boots. They were really cute. On November 1st, I sold a LuLaRoe legging bundle for my personal closet that has been listed forever, um, and I made $16 on that sale. On November 2nd, I sold this pair of, um, the brand is Grando, it's G-R-A-N-D-O-E, and they're a vintage pair of black real leather mittens. They were really cool though because they had the um, metal thing in the middle where it attaches the mittens and then you can also attach it to like your ski jacket or snowboarding jacket. I made $13.40 on those mittens, and they were actually a pickup from the Goodwill bins over the summer. Um, and November 2nd was a very good sales day for me. I made a lot of sales. Um, I also sold this Pilcro and the Letterpress jeans for $20.60, and I featured these in a recent thrift haul, so I believe I've only had those for two weeks or less, so I will definitely be picking up that brand if I see it. On November 2nd, another thing that I picked up recently, featured in a thrift haul and it sold, um, that I will be seeking out actively is anything Disney and anything Winnie the Pooh. Um, I sold this Eeyore fleece and it really wasn't listed that long and I made $16 on it. It was very cute. I was tempted to keep it, but I did sell it. And they left me a nice love note saying it was super soft and they loved it. So that was cool. October, I mean November 2nd, I sold this Bowdoin floral dress and I made $13.40 on that dress. On October 2nd, or I keep saying October, <laughs> it's November now. On November 2nd, again, um, I sold these pair of Justin vintage cowboy boots. And if you're not familiar with Justin, it's a cowboy kind of western brand and I found these vintage boots at a thrift store that I drove an hour to and I paid five dollars for them and I made forty three dollars and eighty cents on that sale I did think they were going to sell for a bit more I had them listed high and then I kept sending offers no one was biting so I just took the offer um November 2nd I sold these vintage four a set of four vintage floral plates and I made 100% profit on these because they were Frankie's parents gave them to me over the summer. Um, they had them sitting in their shed and they told me, told me I could try to sell them. I made $5.25 on that sale. Also on the second, I sold this really cool handmade ice cream skirt. It was a rockabilly kind of style and um, I made $18.20 on that sale. 
and I recently featured that in the thrift haul maybe in September so I haven't had it too long now moving on to November 3rd I sold this Harley Davidson long sleeve embellished t-shirt and this is from my personal closet I had it listed but I have to be honest I was wearing it a few times um, I showed it in a few of my outfit of the days and then I was thinking of keeping it and taking it down from posh because it was getting no attention and then it sold so I sold it and I made $12 on that shirt on November 3rd these jeans I have had forever I bought them way before I even resold and I bought them for myself and they fit me and everything they still fit me I just didn't wear them I don't think they're really my style but they were a true true religion pair of jeans and I only made eight dollars and fifteen cents on them but they were sitting so long that I just took the offer and I was happy to take it so those are all my Poshmark sales moving on to eBay it was a weird week for eBay and I mean that because I had a lot of sales which was great I mean I had seven sales on eBay which is a lot for me um, my eBay is slowly increasing I'm up to 420 listings now I really really want to get my listing number up before Christmas um, but I had a cancellation and then I had another person that got their item and wants to return them because they the boots don't fit their calf so those two cancellations you know that's it's always disappointing when you um, own a small business because it is a you take a big hit on that so anyway I did have a lot of other sales um, so starting on October 29th I sold this forever 21 teddy fleece and I made $17.62 on that and these numbers are after I'm already accounting for the shipping cost so this is basically what I made minus shipping um, but not minusing out eBay and PayPal fees yet because that takes out at the end of the month so this is just the easiest way it is for me to do my books but um, so this is $17.62 after shipping for that hoodie and that I actually did buy for myself not realizing it was a large and it was way too big on me um, it was really cute though so also on the 29th I sold this pair of bed stew cobbler series blue booties and I made $80.32 on those boots I mentioned this in my recent vlog the day that I figured out my huge eBay um, tip that I didn't know if you don't if you didn't watch that video I have a video titled vlogtober and then eBay sales tip uh, life changing or business changing sales tip and it's where I figured out how you can go back and see when people have sent you previous offers that were automatically declined um, and how eBay does not let you know of those offers so what I was doing when I figured this out was actively reaching out to each and every person that had sent me an offer and telling them that I would be glad to take that offer if they were still interested and this sale was a result of me doing that so that was amazing she was super nice she left me a nice review um, and they went to a new home and I also did source those boots on Poshmark with my credits that I get for posting on Instagram so in my mind they were basically free and I made $80.32 so I will take that any day also on the 29th I sold this vintage biker bar iron horse shirt it was it is a iron horse is a biker bar in I believe Daytona Beach Florida and I think it's still open when I looked it up and this shirt was from the 90s I made $12.92 on that sale on the 29th I also sold a Carhartt vest that got canceled I mentioned this previously and then it later sold on Poshmark actually the very next day so I made that sale the 29th on Posh then the person canceled that same night not realizing it, it did not have a hood and then the next day on Poshmark someone sent me an offer and I took it so that was canceled on October 30th I also sold these Ralph Lauren snakeskin boots um, and I made 53.34 on those boots however these are the boots that she messaged me wanted to cancel um, I did tell her I would cancel as long as she pays shipping so I'm waiting to hear back and I don't know what's going on with that but we'll see um, so that is disappointing because that is a $53 sale but those are the sides of doing business so 
October 30th, um, I also sold this pair of Victoria's Secret Siren jeans and I made $14.77 on these. Now I picked these up because from what I know, Victoria's Secret no longer makes clothing. They only make, I believe, sleepwear and pink yoga stuff like that. Um, if I'm wrong, let me know. I know last time I checked, they weren't selling clothing. And anyway, I just thought someone might really like these jeans and might be searching for them since they are a specific style. Um, and they actually sold very quickly, so that was cool. On November 2nd, I sold this pair of Andrew Geller vintage 80s boots. These were really cool. They got a lot of attention on eBay. Um, by the end, before I accepted the offer, they had nine watchers. I sent out previous offers and someone finally accepted and I made $32.43 on those boots. I will definitely pick up any boots that look like that again. Um, also on the second, I sold this pair of men's um, Sonoma boots. I believe Sonoma sold at Kohl's, but I made $17.80 on those boots. They were a really cool style. They were like a motorcycle kind of style and that's why I picked them up. And I actually did get these at the Goodwill bins. So my items that I sourced back in July from the bins are still selling, which is pretty cool. Um, so I definitely made way more than profit on that trip. I don't know the exact amount, but I did really well from that trip. Um, okay, so moving on to Mercari. On the 30th, I sold this set of, I believe it was five or four baskets. Um, I've talked about my baskets before. I sell wicker baskets in sets so that people can put them on their basket wall. And I made $19.95 on those baskets. And on Depop, on November 2nd, I sold this vintage 90s dress for $21.84. Um, it was a really cute like floral picnic design. And I actually put Angela Chase in the title. If you guys uh, watched the show My So-Called Life, it's a 90s show. If you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely look it up. Her style was super cool and this dress reminded me of her. So I put that in the listing um, and it sold. And that is all of my sales for the week of October 28th. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'm trying to do one of these videos every week. Normally I'd like to have it up on Monday, but um, the week's getting ahead of me so I'll hopefully have this up for you soon. But definitely if you liked it, Please um, comment, like, and subscribe. I'd love to hear your comments down below. I love when people leave me comments. Um, I try to get back to everyone and I love reading them. So you can also follow me on Instagram below and check out my Poshmark, eBay. Everything will be in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. It's me again. I forgot to tell you guys a very important part of my what sold video and that is that I reached my profit goal for the month of October. That profit goal was a net profit of $2,000 and I did reach that guys. I made just a little bit over $2,000 net profit on all of the sites I sell on and that is also after I accounted for my eBay bill which was $149.60. So that is already taking that into account and minusing that. Um, so yeah, that's super exciting and I am so excited to see where my business goes, how to keep it consistent and not only consistent but growing every month. Um, yeah, so that's just what I wanted to say guys. Keep going and you can do it. Alright, bye.